Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist for Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you have not seen the series before, what I do is once a week, every Wednesday, I go through all of the new beauty releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or everything. Everything is a total washout. I have a lot of thoughts about what came out this week, what's been sneak peeked, what's promised for the future but before we get into all of that i really want to talk about a couple of product updates first being that i literally just got blue blood in the mail yesterday it took over two full weeks for this to actually get to me despite the fact that i purchased it within the first five minutes of it being live on the jeffree star cosmetics website only a little bit salty about that can you tell i don't think you can tell I, salty who so I did my first ever look with it today. I did film my first impressions video. So that'll be up within a couple of days. I am going to eventually do a full review video, but since it took so long to get to me, I just wanted to film my first impression because I didn't think it would take that long. The next update I have is courtesy of a lovely subscriber and friend who turned me on to this special edition box available through Nordstrom. This is from Becca and this is a kit called the Becca UK Passport to Glow Collection and it included one of my favorite highlights of all time along with a lip gloss and a primer. All this was $25. Yeah through Nordstrom and it was free shipping because free I think Nordstrom does free shipping all the time I know I don't have an account there or anything and I got free shipping so this was an incredible deal and I'm so glad that I jumped on it because not only do I have an awesome backup of my favorite highlighter of all time I got it for an incredible deal and I also have a lip gloss and a primer I tried out the lip gloss before I did this I actually wore a different lip color in my uh, blue blood video and I really liked the way the gloss looked on top of my lip color. I'm also wearing the primer today, so I am testing it out. I'm not a huge fan of the, like, the purpley bluish primer from Becca. I've tried that out. I think it was the first light priming filter, whereas this one is the backlight priming filter. I think I might have tried this out once as a sample. But it's big, like, deluxe mini. So I feel like I'll get quite a few weeks of use out of it. So I am going to be testing that out. So I really think this is 100% worth it. If you guys want to check this out, it's available at Nordstrom, I believe, at the time that I'm filming this. If it's still available, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in not only the highlight, but these other products as well. Okay, what else? I'm currently wearing a black lipstick. I, I really missed black lipsticks. And I feel like as we're getting into spring and summer, it's... They're going to be disappearing. Uh, I'm currently wearing a newer black lipstick that I'm testing out for volume two of my favorite black lipsticks video because that one did actually pretty well. I'm shocked so many people were interested. This is from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics and it's the shade Black Cat. I just put it on about five minutes ago and it, it looks gorgeous. I'm going to try and test it out today. I am working from home but like if I have a conference call or something... I probably have to take this off. Not only am I wearing blue eyeshadow, I'm wearing black lipstick. Like, it's a bit much, but I'm kind of living for it. Okay, so let's actually get into the new product, shall we? The first thing I really wanted to talk about is this. So, Bieber Beauty. A, this, this, <laughs> that's like a horrible name. I'm sorry, but it's meh. B, why does every celebrity have to have a beauty line now? Is it the new perfume? I was, okay, I'll, I'll admit, I, I read that off of Reddit, um, and someone said, like, makeup lines are now the new perfumes of the early 2000s, because that's true. In the early 2000s, everyone that was a celebrity had one of those perfumes. Like, I, I'll admit, I actually liked one of those. The Britney Spears, is it Curiosity, or Curious? perfume. I got that as a gift set for Christmas one year and I loved that perfume and I used that perfume up until like college <laughs> and then I really couldn't find it anymore. I think I've seen it once or twice at TJ Maxx but I used to love that perfume <laughs> but like that's that's really true. Nowadays people are coming out with makeup lines and beauty lines the same way celebrities used to come out with perfume and it's just because that's what's hot right now. 
That's what everyone's interested in. So of course the market is going to get incredibly oversaturated. I can only imagine how people who have been into makeup since like the mid 2000s are feeling because I got into makeup when it was on the way up and so there were a good many options. There were a decent amount of videos on YouTube and you know XYZ back in 2014-2015 but people who have been in the game since like 2000 and like right before YouTube was made, like 2007, 2008, like when makeup, there weren't really a whole lot of options and you had to work with what you had. I can't even imagine how they're feeling with how oversaturated the market is. I honestly don't know where we're going to go from here because it's going to get so incredibly oversaturated. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I know is that this really isn't needed from what i've seen on this instagram post and on reddit she isn't really known for makeup she's known for more of kind of like a glossier like no makeup makeup vibe so if anything she might want to instead come out with a skincare line or something as opposed to like a makeup line i'm not interested i'm not going to be purchasing anything i just saw this and i was like really really Next, I wanted to talk about the sneak peek or reveal from Lunar Beauty, which is uh, Manny MUA's makeup line. I have not purchased anything from his line. I really just wanted to point this out because A, it's gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful. And B, it's it's a super Sailor Moon reference. I know apparently he's a big Sailor Moon fan and his, I mean, his brand is called Lunar Beauty. Like, I, I kind of get where he's coming from. And I think it's so cute that it's called Moon Prism Powder. Like, Moon Prism Powder! Uh, it's a highlight. It's $26. I'm just like, meh. I'm not super interested. I'm not gonna lie. I really was only interested in the packaging and in the name. And that's not enough for me to spend $26 plus shipping f for that. Beauty Bakery is coming out with an extension of their flour baking powder and I gotta say I really love their baking powder. This is the packaging. I no longer have the actual powder inside because I totally finished it up but their flour powder in yellow was like the perfect shade for me. It was a gorgeous powder. It looked great under my eyes. It brightened. It kept my concealer looking fresh. I loved that powder. And I really like the size of the packaging too, so I've kept it and I'm putting in other powders that come in bigger containers just into this. But it really is a great setting powder and I'd recommend trying it out if you are interested or if you haven't tried it out yet. The only reason I haven't really repurchased this is because I have an entire giant setting powder block <laughs> from a Cody. I have an entire Cody Airspun powder, which is a crazy amount of product, so I need to go through that. I also have like two unopened loose powders. So. I'm not purchasing it because I have all that powder, but that was an amazing setting powder and it's among my top favorites. I think my favorites were that one and the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder because that powder was incredible. Okay, so speaking of the every celebrity coming out with a makeup line, Ariana Grande apparently is trademarking Thank You Next and it's going to come out with an entire beauty line based on it. It's gonna include perfumes, like every other celebrity in the early 2000s, colognes, body lotions, bath and shower gels, body scrubs, body powders, body mists. Oh my god. Sure, I'm definitely not gonna be getting any of it, but what do you guys think? Would you really be tempted to try out any of this? So, Wet n Wild finally jumped on the Crystals bandwagon and is coming out with the limited edition Crystal Cavern collection. It comes with an Illuminati looking highlighter, some clear gel things, and what? Scratch and sniff? Brightening rocks? Okay, I can't. I can't. Please stop with the crystals. Please stop with whatever the scratch and sniff thing is. Just stop. La Mer is coming out with two new lip products, a lip volumizer, which is a lip gloss, and a lip balm. Uh, the lip gloss is $75, and the lip balm is $65.
No. Okay, so I know that 420 is coming upon us very soon, and I know that the trend recently has been to have cannabis like everything. But cannabis brushes? Really? I'm so over it now. <laughs> Oh my god. It, it just, this just like reeks of like someone that is just like trying to be so cool. Like, like the person's like, oh, I smoke all the time. Like, oh, I'm such a stoner, blah, blah, blah. Like, look at my makeup brushes. They're so cool because they've got like fake weed leaves on them. Like, come on. Can we just move on? I'm just sick of this. Like, Sephora is coming out with another collection with Moschino and I gotta say I was tempted because it's like office themed. I was tempted by the cute packaging. They've got like erasers and highlighters and things but honestly like no. That palette is just kind of blah. Everything is gonna be like crazy overpriced. So Marc Jacobs is coming out with skincare and this is the Youth Quake moisturizer does anyone else just like kind of quin quinge quinge jesus christ cringe at that name youth quake mm. yeah they're also marketing it as a primer i guess for people who don't need to super worry about anti-aging but uh, there's no prices listed it's gonna be crazy overpriced no Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out with a new shimmer body oil. Am I the only one that's like really not interested in like a body highlight or like a, a lotion or anything like that? Because I feel like that only looks good in pictures. Like if you're in person or if you're trying to do anything and you're just like getting glitter and shimmer and like like lotion everywhere. Like I just wear like for the most part in my day to day life like a full face of makeup not even a full face sometimes and I still kind of get glitter everywhere including my boyfriend's face he's just gotten used to the fact that when he's around me odds are he's gonna have glitter all over his face and I that's only from eyeshadow <laughs> like I can't even well eyeshadow and highlight I can't even imagine how that is with like a full body full of shimmer oil like that's gotta only look good in pictures and I'm not an Instagram model so no <laughs> Man, Glamlight is really going out with their food themes. They're now coming out with lashes and their burger packaging. I rarely wear lashes. And I've not heard anything about their lashes, even like their little pizza lashes. So, this is something I really wanted to talk about. So, this is Pure. And Pure is dropping a new foundation very soon with a hundred shades. A hundred shades. That is nuts. But I've already heard that they're getting some backlash because of the undertone situation. From what I've heard, apparently they have no olive undertones. So at this point, I really i am torn between like, are they trying to advance, you know, the industry and are they trying to do a better job? Or are they just coming out with a hundred shades to say, look, we have a hundred, when really... If you look at the range, it's pretty much the same as any other brand, right? I really want to try this foundation out. So I'm hoping that when it comes to Ulta, I can get shade matched and actually try it out and do a whole video for you guys. But I'm confused about my thoughts on this. What do you think? Do you think that this is a good step forward and that they're trying to set another industry standard? Or do you think they're just coming out with numbers like for the sake of numbers and that when you really deep dive into the shades, there aren't any more or less. Too Faced is coming out with new crystal lips, shimmering eyeshadow veil, so like liquid shadows. The only liquid shadows I really like are those Stila Glitter and Glows. The rest of the shadows that I've tried, both higher end and drugstore, just really haven't done great. So I'm not interested in this. I honestly think they're going to be overpriced. Yeah, they're $22. For that price, just get the Stila ones. Yeah, and the Steelers come in minis. Get that mini set. They're awesome. Just, I'm not interested in this at all. So I know I've already made my point very clear about celebrity fragrances, mainly the KKW fragrances, which keep getting advertised on Trend Mood and on other makeup platforms because it's KKW. I'm definitely never going to buy a fragrance like that. I would never buy a fragrance either just for the celebrity or without smelling it 
The Britney Spears one that I mentioned before, I smelled like in, I think it was a Kohl's or something, and I really liked it and purchased it. But that being said, I tested it and then tried it and then bought it. Like the fact that these are mainly only available online. No. <laughs> but I really just wanted to point out this packaging because this packaging is it's hideous. I just had to like stop myself from cursing because it's hideous. <laughs> oh my god, it's gross. <laughs> Look at this. They're, <laughs> they're supposed to be like lips, but <laughs> oh my god, they just look like open wounds. <laughs> oh god, or even something grosser. Oh god, nope. Nope, I just had to point that out because. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm gonna leave it at that for this week as always let me know what you thought of everything down below also let me know if you're excited to see my upcoming first impressions along with a full review later later on on blue blood and if you are currently still waiting for your blue blood palette or if you've also gotten your blue blood palette let me know what you think down below thank you again for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye Thank you.